What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ruben. New week, new video. You know what it is. Want to definitely cover week one in the NFL. Cover some things that I think we learned and what to expect just in general around the league going forward. Uh, as far as the big news, uh, for instance, last night, Chiefs take the lead in the division, charge, beating the Chargers last night on Thursday Night Football. Chargers had that one. And I knew the Chargers were stacked, but oof, watching them on the field, like the Chargers are stacked. If they stay healthy, which Justin Herbert didn't uh, lead the game healthy, so you know it remains to be seen what's going to become of that. They could be a problem down the stretch. The the Chargers controlled most of the game until a blunder happened and a pick six was had, and then even then they still had an opportunity to, to you know get back in this game, and they just couldn't seal the deal. But the Chargers look like they're going to be a problem. Um, don't want to spend too much time on that. Right now, that division is still owned by the Chiefs until further notice. Bills look like they're going to be a problem. They beat the Rams uh, in, bar in embarrassing fashion opening night. Um, they were my Super Bowl favorite. So, you know, there's not much to be said there. They got everything going. They got a three-headed monster running back. Josh Allen looks like a beast. Um, they can pass at will. They got Stephon Diggs. They got an emerging wide receiver in Gabriel Davis. That defense was one of the best defenses in the league, and they didn't even have Tredavious White. Now, another team of mine, Cowboys. Guys, let's just – I'm going to do a separate video for the Cowboys because I don't want to spend too much time on this one with that. But um, I think Joe Burrow got sacked seven times, threw four picks. Uh, that That's something that I don't expect to see more of. The AFC is just loaded this year. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Um, other news, Monday night, Broncos. The Broncos lost to the Seattle Seahawks. That was also in surprising fashion. I watched that game, and everybody's talking about the boneheaded decision to not go for the fourth and five. I thought it was really stupid. But fun fact, guys, Jaguars fans should be familiar with Nathaniel Hackett. He was the OC here in Jacksonville. And when I tell you we used to want him fired in the worst way, and it was because of stupid decision-making on offense. He had a huge penchant for basically not wanting to run the ball on first down, gaining nothing, and then wanting to run the ball right up the gut on second down to gain nothing to always have third and long. He was really good at that here in Jacksonville. Couldn't wait for him to get fired. So it was not a surprise to me that he made the stupid decision to run the clock all the way down and try a 64 yarder that only two other people have made. And only two field goals have been made from that distance. So it, you pay Russell Wilson a quarter of a billion dollars. You want to die with the ball in his hands in that particular situation. That, that, that was inexplicable. It was so inexplicable. People are, are saying he's on a hot seat after one game. And I don't think I've ever seen that before. So Daniel Hackett, Oof, I wish you the best because I'm a big Russell Wilson fan. I hope to see things, you know, look up for them. Uh, I thought they would be a pretty good team, but Justin Simmons just went on IR, and the rest of the division just looks way too stacked, unfortunately. The Broncos are just not there yet. Um, Raiders, no line, but their offense could be potent. They're going to be hanging around, you know, but unfortunately I think this division belongs to the Chiefs Chargers. Um, Patriots. It's not looking good. The whole experiment with the no OC thing, they got beat again in Miami. What are they doing? You have a second-year quarterback, and you're not going to have an OC that's familiar with running offense. That's just – this could be the year that Belichick is forced in retirement as a result. There's no way they win that division with the Bills in it, and they just lost the Miami Dolphins, and the Miami Dolphins are building something there. They're, they're going to be an interesting team to watch. They might make things interesting this year alone with all the speed they have on offense, and they already had a pretty decent defense. Um, what else am I missing? Saints. I almost lost to the Falcons on the NFC side, but they pulled it out. And if you guys follow, Saints were my preseason Super Bowl pick. They're just so loaded. Offense, defense, they got everything you want. Uh, the Buccaneers beat the Cowboys, but I wouldn't say they looked great. And they even suffered more injuries, I believe, coming out of that one. Uh, Chris Godwin, don't know when he's going to get back. And that's going to be a problem. So I think this is going to be the Saints division to, to lose. And ultimately, they're going to have home field advantage in the playoffs, in my opinion. 
and the Rams. I've been telling y'all that Bills come and do, and I think we're going to see it this year. Okay, They've been ignoring that offensive line for quite some time. They've been trying to be top heavy for quite some time. And I don't know what they were, you know, they got them a Super Bowl, but I honestly think they got lucky. There was a lot of circumstances that had to swing their way to win that Super Bowl. And then now that Bills come and do with, uh, with their lack of depth, they had to let people go. Bob Miller went to the Buffalo to make them even more stacked, as I previously stated. And now there's no exterior pass for us. They're relying on Aaron Donald. Jalen Ramsey, don't know what he's doing these days. He's getting smoked game in, game out now for the last four or five games. I'm not ready to say he's not the top dog, but he should definitely be on notice. So, I mean, those, those are just my my early thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. What, what kind of topics do y'all want to talk about? And who are your Super Bowl uh, favorites? Okay, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and, uh, you know, follow your boy and share. All right? Anything you guys want me to cover, just put down below. I'll be checking that out. And uh, if I missed anything, oh, how did I miss? I, I said I was going to do my own, a video on the Cowboys, but uh, since we got time, real quick, that press got out. It's a problem. I, you know, Cowboys fans, I'll, I'll do a separate video. We got to talk. But as of right now, I think the, I think the season's over. I, I <laughs> stay tuned for the next video. Peace.